Hey YouTube, Florida Stacker back here with you, and today I've got a package from Atmex. I've also got a package from eBay, and we're going to go ahead and open these up here in just a minute and show you some nice 90% silver coins. Stay tuned. All right, hey YouTube and welcome back. So last week Atmex had a flash sale on their 90% silver. And so I received this package in the mail, went ahead and uh, already opened it up. And I picked up through my one gold account, this uh, roll of uh, 50 dimes here or 90% silver coins, $5 face value roll, mixed dimes, atmex.com. Looks like they were rolled on June 11th of this year. And so I paid, I think it was right around $69 for this roll. Obviously, that's a lot higher than, um, you know, 90% silver was going for three, four months ago. But um, when you do the math, that's uh, a little more than three and a half ounces. And it comes in at a better price than buying um, generic rounds. So still a pretty good deal. It was a flash sale. It was a four-hour um, flash sale. So, um, in my opinion, this was a good deal because it was the best deal on 90% out there. Actually, Atmex has these listed right now for, I think it's $73 and um, a few cents over that. And if you go to all the other online bullion houses, it's still uh, the best price. So, Atmex, a dealer not known for having uh, great prices, uh, check out their value rolls. They also have a $10 value roll where you can get either two of these, um, these rolled dimes here, a roll of $10 quarters, or a roll of half dollars. So you never know what you're gonna get. All right, that was a terrible Forrest Gump impersonation, but you get the deal. So I got these here from eBay and uh, I was shopping around on eBay about 10 days ago or so. And this was a brand new listing and it was a buy it now. And it was 90% silver, Kennedy half dollars. And they look to be in pretty good condition. And the price was $155 shipped. So once more, you're not going to get that price um, through any of the online dealers, not even my local coin shop. So I feel like this was a great deal too. All right, so got them out of the first package here, wrapped in a grocery bag. Pretty good knot tied here to keep them secure. So go ahead and get that taken care of. Aha, so check this out. This is cool. Got an entire pile here of 1964 Kennedys. So let's go ahead and set these to the side here. I'm gonna go ahead and gently push some of this silver back over on the table. And we'll lay these here where they're more visible on the camera. All right, so here you go. This was $155 shipped to my address, a bunch of uh, really nice looking half dollars. Um, here, we'll just go ahead and grab a few at a time. So I like these auctions too on eBay for 90% silver because as many of you know, uh, us stackers can be a little bit particular on which 90% uh, 90, 90 coins we wanna pick up, right? Uh, maybe we're used to going down to our local coin shop and we are uh, accustomed to kind of like you know, looking through the inventory and picking out the ones that we want. So when you buy something like this from Atmax, there's there's an, a disadvantage as well as an advantage. So let's start with the disadvantage. Disadvantage is you don't get to pick out your silver, right? They're going to ship you whatever they've got. Could be Mercury dimes, could be the, these Roosevelt dimes. There may be Mercs in there. It says it's a, an assortment. Um, so the disadvantage is, you know, you don't get to kind of sort through the bin, look for maybe some BU or AU options, uh, some nicer looking 90%. Um, but the advantage is, is that you get this sealed. First of all, it's sealed super tight. I'm not going to take this out of the roll. And secondly, because Atmex is in a sense, um, maybe not as, uh, how should I say, not as um, well known as like NGC or PCGS as far as uh grading coins, but there, there's a level of, how should I say, um, 
there's some folks out there in the stacking community or in the collecting community that will only buy from certain companies because they're worried about fakes, right? Everyone's worried about fakes. So when you get this rolled directly from Atmex, uh, and if I want to take this at any time and, and sell it, it just gives it a little bit more uh, trust, right? There's a little bit more trust in the transaction when you get it rolled this way. So um, the advantage I would say buying from one of the big houses like Atmex, um, you know, you don't have to go down to the coin store, right? Um, and it comes with a little bit more um, trust in the transaction if you want to sell it online at a future date. Now, the downside, of course, being you don't get to pick. Now, the downside on eBay is that um, eBay often it can be a little bit more expensive. And a lot of the auctions will say, we're going to ship you coins very similar to the ones that you see uh, in the image in front of you. But what I like to do is I like to find the auctions like this one where all these coins were shown to me. So I knew exactly what I was going to get. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. I got to save a little bit of money and actually earn some eBay bucks too, which is, um, if you're not familiar with eBay bucks, is something um, you can look into. This this one obviously isn't as nice as some of the others. Um, but uh, I earned some eBay bucks, which will be deposited to my eBay account um, here around uh, the 3rd of July. They give them to you each quarter. And um, I earned, I don't know, it's like a buck a buck 50 or something in eBay bucks for this. So it's not much, but I'll take all those eBay bucks that uh, I accumulated over the quarter and turn that into another gold purchase at some point, right? So it's going to keep my gold cost down. That's at least what I like to do. So yeah, so positive on buying on eBay, obviously, is sometimes you can find deals. So you got to kind of act quick. Um, people may have lost their jobs. I don't know what the situation is, but I'm noticing that Folks are putting a lot of nice silver up on eBay. So um, give eBay a check out if it's something that you're interested in. I don't recommend, of course, buying, obviously, a bunch of gold um, unless you're going to be buying from one of the reputable eBay dealers like Liberty Coin in California or Pinehurst in, uh, I think it's North Carolina. Um, but 90% silver, I think, if you're going to shop online, namely eBay, you're going to have... Um, to me, it, it, it's less risk, right? It's less risk of one of these uh, 1964 Kennedy half dollars uh, being a fake. Now, if I was shopping for a gold buffalo, I would probably stick to my local coin shops um, or one of the more trusted online dealers like Atmex Jam, Bullion, SD Bullion, Monument Metals, Texas Precious Metals. There's a bunch of them out there. So um, that's just my tips. Obviously, you do what you want. It's your money. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a stacker on YouTube. I like to take uh, my paycheck money and turn it into gold and silver. It's pretty simple. And I'm doing that to protect myself from the dollar as well as the market. Um, and also because it's a very engaging way to save. Um, it's addicting in a way. But you can turn potentially a spending habit into a saving habit. Obviously, it requires discipline. Um, so it's not for everybody. But uh, yeah. So stacking silver and gold outside of the financial system. It's really liquid. It's really easy uh, to take this down to one of many coin shops in the area and turn it into cash if I need it. Um, so once more recap, got these on eBay, 155 bucks shipped for $10 face in 1964. Kennedy's all in pretty good shape. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hope you learned something from it. Uh, please leave some comments down below on uh, where you get your 90%, what your thoughts are on shopping on eBay. Um, if you have any questions about shopping on eBay, uh, and I'd be happy to kind of give you my experience. And once more, it's just my experience, not a financial advisor, just a guy that likes to buy gold, silver, platinum, and uh, use that as a physical savings account. So hope you guys are all doing well. I'll be back again uh, here in a few days with uh, another video. All right, everybody. Keep stacking. See you next time.